Hello, in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to sell recipes on Etsy. I'll be showing you how to create a recipe book for free and also how to list it on Etsy. So to get started, you can see some examples of person doing this right now and they are making a good amount of money. For example, you have this option where they are selling a book about high protein vegetarian recipes and a lot of persons are purchasing it. And you can see a popular listing that I found which is 75 best breakfast recipes digital cookbook and you can see right here there are over 20 persons that has this in their cart at the moment and by scrolling down you can read the reviews they are getting a lot of positive reviews. I'll be showing you how to create something just like this. The platform that we'll be using to create our recipe book is none other than Canva. With Canva, you will be able to create a recipe book or any form of digital product for completely free. So what I want you to do is go onto canva.com and from there you can create an account using your email address. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on the search bar at the top of the page and I want you to type in recipe book. So you are going to type in recipe book right here, then tap on enter. After doing that, you can see that you are presented with over 20,000 different templates that you can choose from. Keep in mind, any one of the templates that you see with a crown that says Pro, that means that you will need to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But don't worry, there are numerous templates that you could use for completely free. And if we were to go back to our example listing and go over to the left hand menu option, you can see how the pages looks right there. So you can see their table of content and you can also see how their page looks mainly as you can see there. So we're going to go back onto templates and we're going to be creating something similar. So let's say for example, we were to select this template. So I could select this template. So I'll select this one. Then after doing that, I'm just going to tap on customize this template. Once you have selected customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to upload your recipe. So you could tap here and you could change the picture and go over to the left hand menu option and select uploads. Then you could tap on upload files and you could upload the image that you would like to use. Or I could go over to elements for example sake and I'll just type in cake for this example. After doing that, I could select photos and then I can drag and replace the current photo that is there. And you could tap on the text and you can change the text. You can also change the ingredients. And to better assist you, in the bottom right hand corner where you see the zoom is set at 96, you can simply pull along this slider to the right so you will be able to get a better view and you can add in your ingredients and instructions. Then after doing that, you will tap on add page and you can add a second page. You could go over to the top left hand corner and select design. And then from there, you can select similar designs. So for example, you could scroll down and you could use this design this time. So you could tap right there and you could edit this design again. So you could add your picture. You can add the ingredients and you can add the directions. And a platform that could assist you if you would like help with your recipe, you could go on to ChatGPT. This is an AI platform that you can use for numerous purposes and you can use it to make money online. So you could go on to ChatGPT and you could ask them to create some recipes for you if you would like to do that. And you can add your pages. After you have added your pages, what I want you to do next, you're going to add a cover. So for example, if we were to go back to the listing, you can see the cover right there. Now to create your cover, all you'll need to do is go back onto Canva, tap on add page. Then after you have selected add page, you're going to simply move this page to the top. Then you're going to go over to the left hand menu option, hover over design. After doing that, what I want you to do is tap on the search bar and you're just going to type in recipe book. So let's do that once more. So we'll select recipe book real quick, then tap on enter. After doing that, you can see the different templates and you can scroll down until you see a book cover of your liking. 
and if you don't see a book cover that you like all you need to do is scroll back to the top and you could select recipe book covers and then you can see if you see any book cover that you like if you don't see anything that you like what I would recommend you do is you can create your own to do this we could tap on elements and again let's say we are creating a book about cake so all I would need to do is drag and place this picture for example after I've added this pic I could tap on the three dots then I'm going to be setting this picture as the background so you can see the picture right there after you have added the picture you'll go over to the left hand menu option and you can select text after selecting text we can tap on add heading then we could add the heading right here so let's say for example cake book I'll just call it cake book for example sake after doing that you could edit the font style so you could tap right where you see canvas sans and you could change the font style you can also you can change the font style right there to whatever you want you can also add more text boxes and you can edit it to your liking and you could also fade the background by selecting the background tapping on transparency then pulling it to the left you can see it is slightly faded so that makes the text pop more once everything is to your liking you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on share what I want you to do next instead of selecting download and by the way if we were to go back to our example you can see that persons will be receiving a PDF as you can see right here once they have completed their purchase the way how you will be able to do this is after selecting share from there instead of selecting download you're going to tap on see all after selecting see all you can see there are numerous options that you can select from and you're going to tap on template link after selecting template link you're going to tap on create link then you're going to tap on copy link and this is the link that you're going to be sharing on a PDF that once persons click on this link they'll be able to download the recipe book so once you have created your link you will scroll down and you're going to tap on add page and then you go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select text once more and you can tap on add editing then from there you could for example type in here's the link and you can select the entire text then you'll tap on the link icon and you're going to paste in the link right there after you have done that you'll tap on done and for example sake if I were to tap on share in the top right hand corner then select download you will change the format from PNG to PDF then we're instead of downloading all four pages we're just going to download the last page which should be the fourth page then we'll tap on download once it has been downloaded if I were to open it for example sake so this is what persons will receive once they have completed their purchase once they tap on the link they'll be redirected to their recipe book then they can tap on edit template and from here they can edit it or they can tap on share in the top right hand corner and download it it's as easy as that so now that I've shown you how to create your recipe book also how to create the PDF that buyers will be receiving you're going to go back into Etsy and after creating your Etsy seller account you're going to tap on shop manager in the top right hand corner after selecting shop manager from here you can tap right where you see category and you're going to select digital files then you're going to type in for example you can type in recipe so let's type in recipe right there and you can select cookbooks after selecting cookbooks you're going to scroll down after selecting recipes you're going to scroll down then you'll see the option who made it you're going to tap right there on I did what is it and you can select a finished product then you'll see the option when was it made you'll tap right there and you can select 2020 to 2024 you'll see the option how is this digital content created and you'll tap on created by me then you'll scroll down and from there you can tap on save and continue in the bottom right hand corner after selecting save and continue 
you can see buyers can download these files as soon as they complete their purchase. You're going to tap on add file and you're going to be adding the PDF that you have downloaded. So we'll select the PDF, tap on open, and that is the file that they are going to receive. After doing that, you will scroll back up and this is where you'll be able to add your recipe book title. And you can also scroll down and you can add photos. So this is where you'll be able to add the mockups just like what this person has added. So you can add these mockups right there. You can create similar mockups using Canva once more. After doing that, you'll scroll down, you can add your description and you can also set the price that you would like to sell it for. After doing that, you'll scroll down and from here you can add tags. And please be ensured and please take time to research the type of tags that you're adding. As remember that a lot of persons go onto Etsy and they type in specifically what they are looking for. So you want to ensure that your tags relate to what you're listing and that persons will be able to find your listings organically. After doing that, you'll just scroll down and from there, you can choose whether you'd like to offer instant download, which it will be available as you have created it, as you can see right there. And you can scroll down and you can continue filling out the information. You don't have to worry about shipping since this is a digital product and you'll just stop on save and continue and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.